The first day we learned about Joseph and how he was his father's favorite. He was even given a beautiful robe of many colors. But his brothers did not like this, and they put him in a well and then sold him to some traders. And we learned that God loves you no matter what. The second day, we learned about Joseph's life as a slave and his time in prison. Through it all, God remained with him. We learned that God is with you everywhere. The third day, we saw how Joseph became an important helper for Pharaoh. He interpreted some dreams and helped prepare for the years to come. We learned that God is in charge. And, we, and today we saw how Joseph and his brothers reacted when they saw each other again after so many years. And we learned that God is surprising.
right, let's clap one more time for these amazing kids. <laughs> Lots of those songs were new this year. It's amazing how quickly they learn it and they sing it beautifully. You guys did awesome. All right. Well, it's the end of our week. Can you believe it? We had so much fun. If you were in here at all, you know there were a lot of kids here because it was loud, but it was fun. It was amazing. Um, our theme this year was monumental, celebrating God's greatness, and we learned each day about the different ways that our God is great. And we hope that when your kids think about this week at VBS, They'll remember God's monumental love. Awesome God. Amen. Um, there is a large committee of people who we really start talking about this in January, and we have so much fun um, preparing this week for your kids. Um, myself, Ashley Kemp, Megan Pivot, Karami Bertzel, Bethany Depke, and Hope Mack, and Leah Omlid this year. We had so many kids last year, we had to add a preschool classroom. So that went really well. Um, we have amazing leaders and volunteers with your kids here all week. We couldn't do it without you. If you were a leader or a volunteer, or you came in early to help decorate, you donated supplies, will you please just stand up? You, you deserve some applause. Of course, we always want to thank Angie and Sarah in the office. They get numerous emails a day from us, and they run here, there, and everywhere to make this week happen. Um, this year, we did pots in crafts, and it was too messy to carry them upstairs for 70 kids. So either after the picnic or after the performance, your kids can show you where those are. You'll have to go downstairs and pick those up, along with their things at their crew table. Um, at your crew table, there's instructions for the tie-dye and the plants. I know, I'm trying to talk fast, I promise. Um, if your kids had fun, we do have our Sunday school program. It's called Kids of the Kingdom here at Hope Lutheran. It is um, on Sundays after church at 1015. If you have any questions, you can talk to one of us in the cactus shirts and we'll point you in the right direction. Uh, make sure you go on the Hope Lutheran Facebook page. This program will be available. You can share that with your friends and family who couldn't be here. And on Sunday during our church service, we're going to show a slideshow of pictures. You can also view that on Facebook after our church service is done. Um, I already said stop by their crew table. The picnic is outside. We're really going to quit kids. Can everybody glue their feet to the ground? Put on your biggest smile. We're going to take one minute if parents want to hop up. Everybody look that way. That's the best I can do for you. So we'll take a minute to try and get a big group picture. All righty. Then I know it's really hard. Parents, um, if you can stay in the pews. Kids, you're going to go back to your crew table with your leader, and then we'll have you pick them up in there. All right. Thank you.